Welcome to Sir RP's channel. In this video, you are going to learn how to solve for the discriminant of quadratic equations. We have this most essential learning competency. The learner characterizes the roots of a quadratic equation using the discriminant. This is the third learning competency in Mathematics 9. So, learn and love math with Sir RP. Let's first define what is discriminant. It is used to determine the nature of the roots of quadratic equations and is given by the formula d equals b squared minus 4ac. Take note that we are going to use the discriminant to determine the nature of the roots. This will tell us the characteristics of the roots. For instance, if there are two, one, or there are no real roots of the given quadratic equation. And keep in mind the formula for the discriminant of the quadratic equation, b squared minus 4ac. If you can recall, this is part of the quadratic formula, the ones under the radical sign. For instance, we have the discriminant of x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0 is 0. How? First, we identify the values of a, b, and c. Note that the quadratic term has a coefficient of 1. So that is, we have a, 1, b, 2, and c, 1. Substitute the values to the given formula. We have b, which is equal to 2, so that is 2 squared. We have a, which is equal to 1, and c, which is also equal to 1. So that is 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 1 is also 4. That is why our discriminant is 0 because 4 minus 4 is 0. So it's very important for you to identify correctly the values of a, b, and c. You can rewatch the video on illustrating quadratic equations because it's part of the first learning competency in Mathematics 9, finding the values of a, b, and c. Let's proceed. We have also the nature of the roots. It can be determined by the discriminant as summarized in the table below. So we have d greater than 0, d is equal to 0, and d less than 0. But we divided the d greater than 0 into 2, the perfect and not a perfect square. So the corresponding nature of the roots for d greater than 0, and if the value is a perfect square, the nature is it has two distinct real roots, rational but are not equal. For d greater than 0, and the value is not a perfect square, the nature of its root is it has two distinct real roots, irrational and are not equal. So for d greater than zero, there are two types. It can be a perfect and a not perfect square. The difference there is the result for the perfect square or the roots of the equation for a perfect square value of the discriminant is rational and the other one is irrational. And for d is equal to zero, it is one real root or two equal roots. Okay, so one real roots or two equal roots. Then for d less than zero, that is no real root or the roots are imaginary. Let's have the examples. So identify the values of a, b, c, then find the value of the expression b squared minus 4ac, which is the discriminant of the quadratic equation. So you can see in the table, we are going to identify first the values of a, b, and c before we can solve the discriminant because that is the first step. And then we're going to substitute whatever is the value to the given formula. Let's take, for example, the first equation. x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0. From here, we identify the values of a, b, and c. We have a, which is equal to 1, b is 4, and c is 4. Then substitute the values to the given formula. So we have b which is equal to 4, then we have a which is equal to 1, and we have c which is equal to 4. So 4 squared is 16, negative 4 times 1 times 4. So we can take first the 1 times 4, so we have 4. The negative 4 times 4 is negative 16, that is 0. Now recall the presentation in the previous slide that when d is equal to zero, what would be its nature? Or what is the nature of the roots? So 
The nature of the roots, it has one real root or two equal roots. Why do we say that it is one real root or two equal roots? Because when we try to solve for the roots of this equation using any method in solving quadratic equation, we have factoring, completing the square, quadratic formula, or extracting the square roots, the values of the x are negative 2 and, of course, negative 2. So it's counted as one real root, but the roots are equal. Okay, so that is why the nature, it can be one real root or two equal roots. That is for the first. Let's have the second equation. 3x squared minus 10x plus 3 is equal to 0. We identify the values of a, b, c as 3. We have 3. Then we also have negative 10. Then positive 3. From there, plug in the values to the given formula. We have negative 10 squared. Then 4 times 3 and times 3. So that is negative 10 squared. Remember, negative times negative is positive 100. Then we multiply 3 times 3, it's 9. Multiplying negative 4 times 9, it's negative 36. Subtract the 2, 100 minus 36 is 64. Considering that 64 is greater than 0 and is a perfect square, we can now say that the nature of the roots of quadratic equation, it has two real roots rational but are not equal. Why do we say so? If we try to solve again for the roots of the equation 3x squared minus 10x plus 3 is equal to 0, the roots are 1 third and 3. So if we'll try to check, there are two real roots and the two roots are rational but are not equal. Okay, take note of that. That is how we determine the nature of the roots because if we try to solve it, that is really the result rational and are not equal. So there are two distinct real roots for the second equation. We have the third example. Negative 15 minus 8x plus 3x squared equals 0. Since it's not written in standard form, we can write it as 3x squared minus 8x minus 15 equals 0. So from there, we identify the values of a, b, and c as 3, negative 8, and negative 15. Then plug in the values to the formula. We have negative 8 squared. We also have 3 here, and we have negative 15. Negative 8 squared, it's positive 64. 3 times negative 15 is negative 45. Then multiply the 2, that is 180 positive 180. Then add the two, the result is 244. Considering that 244 is greater than zero and it's not a perfect square, therefore the nature of the roots, we have, it has two real roots, irrational and not equal. And if we try to solve for the roots of the given equation, that would be four minus square root of 61 divided by three and four plus six, square root of 61 divided by three. Note that it has two roots, not equal, and irrational. So that is why we have this nature. And we're down to the last nature. We have this equation, negative 3x plus 2x squared plus 5 equals 0. We are going to write its standard form. That is 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 equals 0. Then identify the values of A, B, and C. We have 2, negative 3, and negative 5. Substitute the values of negative 3 squared. A is 2, and C is 5. So negative 3 squared is 9. 2 times 5 is 10. Negative 4 times 10 is negative 40. Subtract the 2, that is negative 31. And considering that it's less than 0, then it has no real roots, or the roots are imaginary. Because when we try to solve, the result, of course, again, it's an imaginary root. That is 3 plus i square root of 31 over 4 and 3 minus i th square root of 31 over 4. So it has no real roots. Those are the four nature of the roots of a quadratic equation in which we were able to identify that using the discriminant with the formula of b squared minus 4ac.
to discuss further, we have the following. When b squared minus 4 is, is equal to 0, that is, the roots are real numbers and are equal. So that is one real root or two equal roots. For this example, that is x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. We identify the values of a, b, and c. Plug in the values, we get 0. So again, one real root or two equal roots if d is equal to 0. Next, when b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0 and perfect square, then the roots are rational numbers but are not equal. For instance, 2x squared minus 3x minus 20 equals 0. Identify the values of a, b, and c, then plug in the values of the formula. The result is 169. Considering that 169 is a perfect square, we would like to get its square root that is 13. So we can say that it has two real roots, distinct real roots, rational but are not equal. Okay, remember that. So we have another example. What is the discriminant of x squared plus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0? So to identify the values of a, b, and c, that is a is 1, b is 5, and c is negative 6. Then you plug in the values to the given formula. d equals b squared minus 4a. Say that is 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 6. From here, we can have uh, 5 squared is 25. Then minus 4. 1 times negative 6 is, of course, negative 6. Then multiplying the 2. We got 25. Negative times negative is positive 24, right? So that's the rule in multiplying integers. 24 plus 25, it's 49. Therefore, the discriminant of x squared plus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, what is its nature? What is the nature of the roots? Since d is greater than 0, and of course, it's a perfect square, Right? So the nature it has two real roots and rational but are not equal. So that is for this equation x squared plus 5x minus 6 equals 0. Let's proceed with the third or the next nature of the root. When b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0 but not a perfect square, then the roots are rational and are not equal. For instance, we have 2x squared minus 5x plus 1 equals 0. The values of a, b, and c are 2, negative 5, and 1 respectively. Substitute to the given formula, that is the value of d is 17. Again, 17 is not a perfect square, but it's greater than 0. So we can say that the roots are rational and are not equal. There are, of course, two roots. And for the last nature, we have b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, then the equation has no real roots. So for instance, x squared plus 7x plus 13 equals 0. That is, the value of d is negative 3. So it has no real roots or the roots are imaginary. Let's try to go back to our most essential learning competency. The learner characterizes the roots of a quadratic equation using the discriminant. I hope that with the examples and with the discussion given, you were able to achieve this target. Okay, so for your practice, what is the value of the discriminant of the quadratic equation x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 0? And what is the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation x squared minus 8x plus 6 equals 0? For your answers, please use the comment section. And that ends our session for today. Thank you, Keeper, for the slides used in this presentation. Once again, thank you and happy learning. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button to receive updates. This is Sir RP.